So, another night of good conversation with lockout men. That's what's up. And you guys can definitely go back and uh, check out the interviews that I did with everybody. And I appreciate everybody coming on doing the interviews with me. That's what I appreciate. Cool conversation. And and if I didn't get a chance to reach back out to you, I apologize. But I will be coming to get with you guys shortly. I cannot believe that it's still plenty of parking out here. Especially where I'm at. See, brother man shut it down at about four. At about four o'clock with about a gang of parking. You figure if you shut down at about four o'clock around that time. Man, that's crazy. All right. Well, let me uh, bring up today's commentary. And uh, we will get right into it. What's going on, everybody? Lockout Man back again with another commentary for you guys. Thank you very much for coming. I really do appreciate it. When you guys open up that door, make sure you hit that like button. Smash it. Press it. It's free. You see what I'm saying? And if you guys like this type of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button too, man. You know, I'm just saying, every time I go to my analytics, it shows a gang of you people that's not even subscribed. So, but it shows that you guys are returning to watch the videos on a daily basis. So, that's a thumbs up. So, thank you very much for that. I really do appreciate it. Yo, I got uh, I got some shout outs that I want to get out the way. You know what I'm saying? I probably, I probably going to probably make a little title card for the uh, shout outs, man, because it's a lot of you guys that's coming on to the Lockout Man podcast show, showing some love, showing some support, uh, just just using this platform to get your information out. And I really do appreciate that you guys choose me for that vessel. Thank you very much. Shout out to my man L M Way transportation yes it's a minority owned company if you guys want to see what they about head over to the facebook and type in m way transportation reach out to my g and see if he have anything available for you last time i talked to him he has a couple of trucks he's looking for go-getters entrepreneur uh, entrepreneur spirited people that can help him help you get to where you need all right. Shout out to U.S. Health Advisory. My man CJ, what's going on, my G? If for owner operators or company drivers that don't have insurance, yo, give this man a call. He has some good, affordable insurance for you guys. Health, dental, mental, all that good stuff. So check him out. That's health. That's U.S. Health Advisors dot com and check out my man jc all right shout out to sycs trucking company out of atlanta definitely check out the interview that i did with trucker girl atl she's she's uh she's a company that does fedex freight all right she got she started from the bottom made it all the way to the top She's she got uh, she got trucks for you guys. If you are interested in driving for yo, go over to the website, type in S Y C S trucking. All right. Last but not least. Oh, and new to this shout outs ship X. Yes, sir. If you guys interested in going over to ship X, ship X is the company that does salaries, period. No more, no more detention, no more chasing miles, no more layover pay. You get paid straight pay out of the gate salary. You get paid for sitting in the truck, sitting in the back, even sitting at home. 
ship bets. Also, they're 100% medical paid for solo drivers. If you guys are interested in going over to ship bets and see what they got to talk about, give them a call. That's ship bets transportation out of Utah. And last but not least, Trucker's Path. Basically, in a nutshell, Trucker's Path is good for routes, navigations, and the biggest thing I use them for is truck parking. You can find out what other truckers have to say about the places where they park at to see if they have some spots available, if they got many, some, or full. They also let you know what type of amenities they got there and if they like it or not. Definitely download it. Trucker's Path. All right. That's what's up. Enough of the enough of the shout outs. Let's get into the commentary. So today's commentary, y'all, is it's not it's it's not a it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal. Um a lot of you guys out there, old and new, still have trouble backing. I look, I I me personally, I don't like blindsiding. I really don't. I don't like blindsiding. I'm just I'm just saying. If I have to, I will. If it's enough space for me to blindside in, I'll do that. But if it's not, I will definitely get out, look, inch in. Get out, look, and inch in. If there's a spotter or another driver that's willing to spot me in, I'll definitely get out and ask him to do so. All right. Bagging is the biggest challenges out here for especially for a new truck driver so me being uh me being a og in the game now six years deep yo i i just feel that i i, I don't have many advice probably just a few tips but my tips is probably might be the same as everybody else but of course i'm in a facebook group the question was posted, and I am here to give some friendly tips or advice for guys that, you know, that's been driving for a long time, and they have some tips for backing for you. Me, personally, coming from me, my tips is basically just like everybody else's. Get out and look. Get out and look. Get out and survey your situation before you even get into that you see what i'm saying if you if get out look look around walk around and visualize before you do it okay and what i mean by visualize i mean get out and 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 play the situation out in your head or while you're looking at it like all right so you figure you had to back off the street or you had to back off this situation or you had to do that situation. You can play it out in your mind before you actually do it. You see what I'm saying? That's what I do. That's, that's, that's my advice. You know, that's, that's my simple tips, but let's see what some of the, let's see what some of the other players, let's see what they have to say. Of course, uh, one person here says, go get out and look, get out and look one driver says steer towards your problem over too far on your left turn to the left over too far on your right turn to your right roll down the cab windows I, that's what i do that's a good idea i roll down both sides of my windows this driver right here says it's hard for me to see at night Placing one of my reflectors is a big help. That's a good idea, especially at night when you be backing in these tight ass spots and all like that, especially if you're in a truck stop or something like that. Now, I know a truck stop is a big problem for some of you guys out here, but look, they just going to have to wait. And if you're a new driver and you try to figure it out, place one of them triangles like she said another driver here says maximize your space tractor drives the kingpin on the trailer not not the trailer okay on the trailer not the trailer what do you mean by that learn the mechanics of the kingpin 
and backing is just surface. You can then maneuver in or out of any situation. I'm going to need you to come back and be a little bit more specific about that one, bro. Another driver here says following. Yeah, definitely. Like if you like if you start to back up, you got to hurry up and get back up under the uh get back up under the trailer. You know, my when I was when I was training and I was doing backing, I would always say jack. You know, how much jack do you want to put in order to get into that hole. Once you put enough jack just to get into that hole, you had to hurry up and follow the trailer into the hole. You got to hurry, you got to hurry up and do it. Too little, you won't catch it. Too late, you won't catch it. Just right, you'll just follow it right into the hole after you put that jack in there. Don't oversteer. I I think that's a I think that's the that that's some good that that's some big problems with some new drivers. They tend to oversteer their situation, and then when they try to correct the situation, it's a little bit more hard to correct. Then they gotta come back out. Then they gotta come back around. Then they gotta reset up. And if they're in a truck stop parking lot, they'll probably lose that spot because they're you know they they couldn't they they couldn't get in. It says go slow, turn wheels towards the problem. Exactly. So if, like I said before, if, if, if you need to go to the left, go to the left. If you need to, if the problem's on the right, go to the right. Setup is everything. Of course, when you come in and set up for your 90 degree or set up for your 45, you might, you know, you might not have the perfect setup, but if you have a good setup, you shouldn't have too much of a problem getting in there now see here's another thing with the setup now some truck stops you're not going to have space my thing for me again is space if you have enough space in the front then you have enough space to get into that hole if you don't have enough space in that front then it's going to be a little bit difficult you might have to push your tandems back to give you that extra 10 feet of space so you can get in. Now, another thing about tandems, let me, let me break that down too. If there's a tight back, then you will want your tandem slid all the way to the back. You don't want that much trailer sway when you're going in because when when I was when I was learning, my driver, my my uh instructor was telling me, he said, look, follow the tandems. If you follow the tandems too late, you won't get it. But if you follow the tandems just right, you will get it. So the way you you slide the tandems is the way you pay attention to how you follow the tandems in. Now if it slid all the way to the back, that's kind of cool because you slide in the tandems and the trailer into the hole. Now, if it slid all the way up to the front, you have to follow the trailer. You see what I'm saying? You can't follow the tandems. You will have to actually follow the trailer in. If setting up for a straight back, stop with your windows directly in the middle of your spot. Look to your right then aim at that spot as if you was to turn your truck like you're turning into a fuel island. You'll be set up nice and straight to back. If you think you went far enough, go far another three feet. I swear it will make a huge difference. In a tight spot, go slow. Your trailer will fall right into place no matter where you put your tandem. I can only blindside and I don't do it to show off. I can only see out of one eye. So my mirrors got to be tight. Definitely. You, you, your mirrors got to be on point too. If you have one, if you have a power mirror, especially if you blindside and you know, you can definitely move your mirrors so you can see how you getting into that spot. Get out and look as much as you can. It doesn't matter if you've been driving for 50 years, 
get out and look. Focus on where your tandem wheels are going more so than the end of your trailer. It's throwing a bright bean bag on the ground in the line with the edge of the dock outside the hole or a glow stick at night will help you see how close you are with your tandems. If you are within a few inches of it, you shouldn't hit the trailer on either side. Setup is most important. That's what's up, y'all. If y'all have any tips or tricks or advice for any for any rookie, newbie, or you know, first year driver for their backing, definitely leave it in the comments below. All right. And that's going to do it for tonight's commentary. I really do appreciate you guys watching. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that bell and that all button. And make sure when you come in the door, you hit that like button. And when you leave out the door, the like button is free. Again, if you guys have any commentary or anything like that, if y'all want to send me a video to check out, hit me up in the Gmail. That's lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. Or if you want to come over to the show, chop it up with me, hit me up in the DM over at Instagram. Until then, that's going to do it for tonight's commentary. I really do appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, I'll come at you with another one. Peace.